ethical behavior at workplace. What is ethical behavior? Ethical behavior is a system or a code of morals which provide guidelines for the business. This is very important for a business. Why it provides guidelines? It gives you the direct, correct method towards your success and that is why you have to have an ethical behavior. These standards are set out by the society, by the industry and by the organization. When it comes to the society, so from one society to another standards are different. From one organization to another ethics are different. From one industry to another ethics are different. Therefore when it comes to banking we expect utmost confident and ethical behavior from a bank. Import of ethical behavior at workplace. It, it, it helps you to protect the values and gives you guidelines for the correct behavior and also helps you to increase employee loyalty, morale, enhancement and brand image, investors and shareholders confidence. Confidence is extremely important for us because we are a bank. When our shareholders, our stakeholders and our customers trust us only, we will have a future. And also another very important fact is increasing productivity. When you have an ethical behavior and when you promote more ethical behavior it's very easy to go for a higher productivity uh, another thing which is really important is uh, strengthening the team driven culture when you are to work as a team your ethical behavior is extremely important ethical behavior gives you the correct way of behaving therefore if you behave wrongly you will never be able to be a team driven person you will never be a team man it is really important for us to be team driven people why most of you all are recruited by us because you all have extracurricular backgrounds at school levels you all have most of you all have uh, done extracurricular activities why we go for uh, those kind of uh, aspects when we recruit you because we want a, a social animal we want a team driven person for you to be a part of a team you have to have good ethics values inside you don't forget the fact that those days good qualities good things came from home to the organization but now the situation is completely different we have to cultivate we have to nourish good things inside the organization and we have to uh, take them back to the home and then our families will nourish with them and then our children will nourish with them. Again, a very important fact is when you uh, help us to develop or uh, to build up uh, um, ethical culture, it really helps us to um, minimize our legal costs because whatever the ethical uh, issues we come across, it will lead mostly as harassment issues, mostly. I won't say 100%, but mostly. So harassment issues definitely is going for criminal jurisdiction, which will affect us not only financially, but psychologically as well. Therefore, uh, we expect 100% commitment from you for uh, ethical behavior and also to promote ethical behavior at workplace. How to build ethical behavior at workplace? This is something really important and you should take very serious notice of. You have to set clear goals and clear guidelines uh, with explanation and also how employees should uh, intend with other employees and customers. You have to take very serious notice and enter into uh, these kind of situations when people are wrongly handling these kind of things. On the spot you can correct them and you have the right to correct them. And also what is uh, unexpected behavior is something you should know and if you see an unexpected behavior at your organization at any level you have the right to inform it to your line manager or your supervisor and directly you might be able to um, uh, inform it to the human capital department also. Uh, how managers should lead examples is something really really uh, valid because uh, when the leader is exemplary the subordinates accordingly uh, try to follow them, tend to follow them. Uh, and uh, rewarding good behavior is something again uh, very uh, trendy and uh, I also personally uh, like it and appreciate it because 
when uh, there's something called uh, transferable uh, behavioral aspects uh, when it comes to HRM. So if somebody is doing good and when we appreciate it, others, others tend to uh, follow the same thing uh, without knowing. I mean, they are not conscious about what they're doing, but they tend to copy it and do. So no harm in copying the good thing and establishing a feedback mechanism for complaints. You cannot hide some complaints as, oh no, these are not important. Oh, these are the most important ones. No, there's nothing like that. Every complaint should be handled with its own merits and demerits. Every complaint has its own value. Please don't forget that. And um, another important fact is regular training programs. Training is extremely important. Training, you don't have to spend you know, a large sum of money for trainings. If you have a good boss, if you are a good, good boss, share your experience with your subordinates. Correct them whenever you uh, see a mistake in them. You have the right to do that. It's your responsibility. Beyond, uh, beyond your job role, you are a human being and don't forget that we are living in a society we are not isolated so we must correct the younger generations as well and uh, you have to obtain commitment from all levels of employees uh, for this task it's not easy to do this alone definitely you need help of the others uh, to uh, achieve uh, this ethical behavior at workplace. So business success through ethical behavior uh, is really important. Uh, actually, a successful organization is not one that makes only profits. Profit is not number one or uh, the one and only fact you have to be considered of. Uh, but you have to be considered of your ethics, the values, uh, the kind of culture that we have. So if we have an ethically driven culture, we'll be a perfect organization. Uh, you have to use uh, ethical practices and continuous enforcement um, uh, of ethical practices, uh, not only for today, but many years to come as well. So increased uh, customers you will get, higher employee retention you will get, lesser number of uh, legal issues, lesser number of cases, and a good public. These these things you a good public image these things you will be able to achieve through uh, a good practice of ethical behavior at workplace companies that treat their employees well value their uh, loyal customer base act as good corporate citizens respect the uh, environment they have very less ethical issues compared to other uh, organizations in this country so they will be positively impacted with uh, ethical behavior at workplace and we invite you to uh, maintain our sustainability with your ethical behavior make sure make sure that you are a person who is uh, ethically driven and also that you contribute for the ethically driven culture of your organization